Now the next thing we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna put it into the structure. We're gonna put it in the structure. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna show you the structure. Okay? Let's get a big guy. How about you? Easier. Okay. Now, what are we gonna do here? If the structure, if I can make a structure right, I can transfer his foot to the ground. The hand is the one that, the first thing we're going to do is the hand. If I move my hand this way, okay, I just show you first, put your hand, one hand on here, and put your hand, one hand on here, and push me. Harder. Harder. As hard as you want. Harder. Harder. More, more, more. Okay. So now, I show you why. When he push me, I align myself in one line. And he pushing like pushing a stick. He pushing me like a stick. So what happened to his force? If you pushing a stick, it go to the ground. If my if I not alignment, okay? If I push this way, I go. I no way, absolutely no way to do it. So now in one with the C7 again. When I push my C7, I sink my chest down and I extend my scapula out. I am aligned my hand with the scapula, with the shoulder, with the scapula, with the C7, and it transfer the force down to the ground. Okay? So you look at my C7 again. Push. More. Okay? No matter what you push me, the force goes to the ground. I don't have to do absolutely anything. All I have to do is hold my structure. I don't use force, I don't do anything. I talk to you. Normal. He can push as much as he wants. The force go to the ground. Okay? Now I show you once more. Come here. When I push my head stick out this way, push. The force go right to my neck. Okay? When my when I don't do the C seven, that's what we just did. We just did. Okay? The force don't go right to my neck. But when I push my neck this way, the force transfer. The force transfer now. Okay, push. The force transfer now. I don't push. I don't. That's <laughs> nerves now. Huh? <laughs> you get tired. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it. You cannot push me. Is that right? Because the force goes direct to the ground. Now, when I. So the next thing is the neck have to be straight. The next thing is my back this way. Push me. I have nowhere to hold. Not even one slightly any energy. I can know it because it's stronger. No, you could do it, but you... No, the, the back go this way, I cannot do it. But if I get my back straight, that's what we learn. So no matter what he push, keep on pushing and that's show. No matter what he push, the force, it goes down to the ground. When my spine is right, now again, if my second tilt this way, you, I show you, when my second tilt this way, okay? It keep on go to my second. And if push, 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 finally I have to go back into my sacrum, I got chill. But if I chill my sacrum straight this way, fall go to the ground. Again, so the same thing that we did, the spine. Because when you have a curve, the energy can go right into the spine, and it's stuck there. Like a stick, when it curve, you push on, it break. That right? When the stick is straight, you cannot break the stick. Now, the next one is my knee. If my knee curve in, my knee curve in push, the force go into my knee. Okay? The force go in my knee. When my knee go out this way, like spiral, like screw, screw out. Right screw, screw out. I'm going to show you later on. The force go to the ground again. My next right, my spine right, my leg right. I don't have to do anything. I can sing so, I can do anything. He cannot push me. I don't know even use any force to fight against him. If I bow him back, he go. Because I get the same force that he pushed on me, get him back to him. And the same force again. I can double the force also. And boom, he go. Because the same force, they push me. Now, come and push me on the, on the leg here. Yeah, both hands. When my knee this way, when my knees where I go out, now with a very simple way, I press my leg and I screw out this way. Harder, harder. 
So when you push this way, the force goes to the ground. See that? With a very simple structure movement. This one happens so much in your day, every daily life. People try to push a table this way. Okay? When you try to push the table this way, you go. If I try to push the table this way, I have force. I can move him. I can move him very far. <laughs> See? So now he just know how to use the structure. <laughs> so you see that? <laughs> so if not to use structure, the force goes to the ground. Or if you're pushing, if you're pushing things with the knee go this way, all the force goes to the knee and you get hurt. Or if you push your back with the second tube and you push this way, all the force goes to the second and you hurt yourself. If you don't, or if you don't sink your chest, you're pushing thing, you're pushing this way, you're going to hurt your back. If you're pushing things this way, all the force comes to the ground, <coughs> and you can get more force to push the thing. Because when you press that, you get more force to push the body. But when you do this way, all the force, like when I'm pushing this way, pushing the, all the force go to my back. Boom! Why in the chair, in the back, and it get hurt. But I push this way, and more force. I don't hurt, I get more force. Okay? So the structure is very important. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get a structure right, okay? The structure right is this way. So the first thing is chest sink, sternum sink. You activate the thymus gland. If you do this way, yeah, nothing happens. But you sink, chest sink, hand extend, hand round, the hand spiral. You see the hand spiral? And the back straight, back not curved this way, back straight, C7 straight. Feel you being pulled up this way. Feel that a force pull you up this way. And feel a force pull you down this way. So your butt, so your spine have to be straight. So the same thing that we did, spine straight, T11, uh, T11 straight, C7, best of scalp straight. And now the leg spiral out a little bit. Press and spiral, not too much, just a little bit. And you get a structure. Okay? Now, when you go home, if you have this structure with you and practice the structure, you will save your life. Save your back, save your neck, save your scapula, save your shoulder. Believe me. Okay? So we're going, to, we're going to stand up, and this is where we're going to do. We're going to get a partner, get a structure right first. So the partner stand, and you try to stand this way. With the back, with the hand go this way, and stand on this way. So the partner should be touching you. The back here should be touching, and here should be touching, and here should be touching. If your head go this way, it's not right. The head has to touch you on the shoulder, the second touch your, your hip, and the back touch here, and the, this one, the C7 touch here, and this one touch here. Okay? Now, it's the right structure. Now, when you stand, have to spread out and screw out. It screw out outside, both legs screw outside. So you can go here and push the leg. And it's a firm. Structure is firm. Okay? And the way to test the structure firm or not, if the people sit, stand this way, one hand on the shoulder and one hand on the hip, push it steadily this way. Okay? When it break the structure, you know what part he, he has to build, has to be practiced more. So get the structure right and push. Give him some thought, but not, don't knock her or him out. The whole, the whole purpose is not try to knock him out. But let her or him to build up a force. So now he weak this way. Now I give him a little bit force so she can more structure on the force. It's a hold for a while until he can feel he can transfer the force, adjust the structure, make it straight, make it right. Okay? So, and we change to the back here also the same. Get the structure right, and we're going to do the packing and breathing process. See? And release. 
Okay. Okay. So get a partner and practice some. Okay. Testing. Testing more. Testing more. Testing more. Testing more. That's it. See that? Yeah. One thing you can see, you know, is the wall. The wall is the best feed up, feedback for you. You get home the wall, stand your feet above shoulder width, and try to get your sacrum pressed back to the wall. T11 pressed to the wall. The C7, the chin pushed up this way. <coughs> try to feel one, one wall touching the whole wall. And your hand out, we call embracing a tree. Embracing a tree. Okay? Now, when you feel your back straight, this is the position you're going to get energy flow. And we're going to do the breath, packing breathing process. Get your structure right. This is a stand you can stand up to one hour. But people, if you can stand up 10 minutes, excellent. Okay? 10 minutes a day is going to build so much power for you. At least 10 minutes. 5 minutes to 10 minutes is very important. Okay? Get the structure right. Stand. Now, when you're ready, you're going to inhale. We call energizing breathing. When you do energizing breathing, you have to feel your sexual organ move up and down. Okay? For ladies, you can feel the, the vagina open and close. For men, you can feel... When you exhale, you feel you pull up your sexual organ. Now, drop down, exhale. We call energizing breathing. You can go 20, 30, or 36 times. Low, must low, not here, and here. When you're ready, exhale. So we're going to exhale first. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale until no air inside you. <coughs> so all the air pressure go. And your stomach go back nearly touching the kidney. Go back all the way near touching the kidney. Now we're going to inhale. The first inhale, we're going to pull up the perineum. That's what we did. Exactly what we did now. Inhale, pull up the perineum, left and right perineum toward the kidney. When you inhale, you still keep the stomach in, press toward the kidney. So you exhale, exhale, inhale, pull up the left and right anus to the left and right kidney. Hold it, pack it, squeeze it. You can keep on squeezing your kidney, okay? So squeeze your kidney, hold it for a while. Now, the next thing is difficult. You're going to inhale, put your mind in the lower abdominal and expand the lower abdominal out and now push the abdominal down, so it's going to be this way. You expand all to the kidney. Here the kidney, you've been packed in the kidney. And now when you finish, you're going to inhale, push the air pressure you've been built out down to the perineum by building a ball in here. And we're going to inhale once more, pull up the perineum. This is very important. If you do it right, right away you feel a grounding. When you do it right, so you see, I, I start over again. Energized breathing. Exhale. 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 Inhale, pull up. Left and right kidney. Hold it, hold it until you feel <coughs> you cannot hold anymore. Inhale. See the ball come out. Inhale, pull up the perineum. And you're going to breathe into the kidney. You expand the kidney. Okay? And so you pull up and you push down. And you hold it, hold it. When you pull up and you push down, you're going to open the leg roof. You're going to open the leg from here to the ground. To the ground. You're going to open that root, the leg root this way. Okay? Now, you open the leg root. Now, when you're ready, you exhale. The energy shoot right down to the ground. And you're going to open in the leg channels. And you're connecting with the earth 
energy. And you're going to breathe in. Okay. The, uh, you're going to, when you do breathing, it's very important breathing on the side. Okay, I show you, I can show a few of you and we're going to do it together. Come up two, two men, and two men on this side come up. And then two men. Or maybe two ready in this side. So we let lady have a chance. These two ladies are here. I'm going to show you that the kidney breathing. Put your finger on me, both, both of you on me. And both of you on me on this side. You see, when I expand, I loosen my push in. Now I loosen myself. Okay? Now when I inhale, push in. Push in. Harder. Now I, I so you push in, you see that? Now I expand myself, my, I loosen myself. See? Now I breathe into again. I expand my kidney again. Push hard. See that? Now I loosen myself again. See the air on the back? So you see here? See that? This is very important. When you're breathing, it's not expand to the front. Not this way. I cannot do that. Expand to the front. But when I'm breathing, I expand round. So I expand this way. We call the energized kidney breathing. Okay? So you put your hand here, everybody. Stand right, everybody. Now aware of your left and right anus. You now pull up your left and right anus to the to the left and right kidney. You can pull this way, this way. Pull up to the kidney. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now aware of your lower abdominal. Inhale. Okay? Inhale down. Lower abdominal. Inhale, pull up the perineum. Hold it. Exhale. Inhale, hold it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now aware of your bone in your hand. Inhale, draw the energy right into your bone. Exhale. Inhale, draw the energy into your bone. You might feel something in your bone if you do for a while. You feel heat build up, feel a funny bone in your bone. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, exhale. You may feel hot if you hold for a while. If you go home, you stand here for 5, 10, or 15 minutes, you get tremendous benefit. The energy build up. Rest. Put your hand, put your leg together. Put your hand in your navel. Man can use the right hand cow the navel, woman can use the left hand cow the navel. It can be interchangeable also if you don't feel right. So use your mind to draw the energy into your navel. Rest. Shake your hand, shake your leg. Okay, sit down. So when you, when you pack the kidney and the perineum and pull up, when you exhale, push down. Exhale, you let the energy flow down to the, la to the feet, to the ground. And you're going to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and do the bone breathing. Now, when you're ready, Again, start over again. When you're ready, we're going to go up from the stroke up to the head, up to the perineum. So exhale, 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 exhale. In up, up, left and right kidney. Pack it, squeeze it, play with it. When you're ready, inhale. Push the ball down, the same thing again. In up, pull up. When you pull up, you draw the energy the same time. You suck and draw the energy from the earth to the soul. Hold it. If you can take the breath, you can spiral night time in the feet. Okay? If not, just inhale, pull up the energy into the soul. 
Hold for a while, you have to up to your knee. Spiral the knee. Spiral like screw. It's very important. <coughs> Feel like a screw. So screw to the ground. And hold on the knee. Inhale. Up your perineum. Pull up and push down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bone breathing, soul breathing, and palm breathing. Feel your body expand, 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 and draw the energy in. Your body, when you hold your breath, your body expands <coughs> like a big, 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 big balloon. When you exhale, you draw the energy from all over. Head, front, leg, in. So that's why you require the microcosm. You feel the energy here, feel the energy here, feel here. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, bone breathing. Now the third part. The third part. When you're ready, exhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, pull up, left and right kidney. Pack the kidney. Squeeze the kidney. When you're ready, inhale. Push the ball down. Pull up. Now we're going to bring up to the spine. Bring up all the way to the spine. So, when you're ready, inhale. Pull up from your back, second, tilt. Inhale. Up to the T11. Now, the only difference is we're going to expand <coughs> a chi belt. We're going to expand a chi belt. Very, very important. Okay? When you pull up, front middle, back, second, tilt. In up, up to T11. Expand the chi belt. Expand the chi belt to the front, like a belt. When people weight lifting, lifting weight, they have a belt here. So they're expanding, so their body don't push out too much. So the big, big band of belt. That is exactly the same. When you come up to T11, you expand, expand, and let belt come up. Now, and if you can spiral, you can spiral on each part that you do. But you cannot go ahead. So inhale up to the C7, sink your chest on the C7. You can spiral also. If you are out of breath, you can exhale a little bit and inhale. Inhale, cup to your C cell, a base of scalp. Inhale up to the crown. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, bone breathing, soul and palm breathing. And feel the energy draw into you. Because the, the skin is going to open because you hold the breath that long. And the body says, hey, what happened to him? So it's up there to find alternative breathing. The head, here, all this part is open, and you draw the energy in. The body always finds alternative way to do something when, when they feel something is wrong. You know? And they're forced to open all the skin, forced to open <coughs> all the point, and you can draw the energy in. And if you can stand, just after you finish, you change so much energy, so inhale, draw the energy in, exhale. You now draw the energy in, exhale, and stand. If you can stand 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, gradually increase half an hour, one hour, two hours. I don't think anyone will go up to two hours, right? <laughs> but if you can stand half an hour, beautiful, the energy coming so much over to you, and you fight against the gravity, and the bo- you have to relax when you stand. Relax, and you fight against the gravity, and you draw so much energy over, okay? So let's stand up and do it. <coughs> Try to get the right position. Are you ready? Sing that a little bit. The groin open. This one is not open. Like this is opening the groin. By tilt to the back and open this way. You're opening the groin. Okay? Round. Elbow sink. Shoulder sink. Chest sink. Chin. T11. Sacrum. Straight. The pinky finger tilt in a little bit. Now, are you ready? Inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> the sexual organ also. Are you ready? Exhale. 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 Inhale, pull up, left and right kidney. And wear your lower abdominal. Inhale, push down. Inhale, pull up the perineum. Feel your soul activate. 
exhale down to the ground inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale bone breathing so and palm breathing are you ready exhale 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 inhale pull up left and right kidney pack to the kidney Inhale, aware of your lower abdominal. Push out, inhale, pull up. At the same time, draw and suck the energy from the earth to the soul. Aware of your soul. Hold it, put your mind and energy in the soul. Now, aware of your knee, inhale. Draw, pull up the perineum, draw the energy to your knee. And spiral the energy, like screw, screw down to the ground. Feel your body expand bigger and wider like a balloon. Big, big, big balloon. Inhale, pull up to the perineum, pull up tighter. Relax the chest. Relax the chest. Feel your body expand more bigger now. Bigger, bigger, wider. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax everything. Just quietly inhale. Draw the energy into your bone. Feel your funny bone. Exhale. Inhale, feel, draw the energy right into your bone. Exhale. You may feel a lot of hand opening, and so opening, and head opening, Shh, energy drawing. Now exhale. The, the last time now. Exhale. 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 Are you ready? Inhale, pull up left and right kidney. Pack in your kidney. You can shake a little bit if you want. Now, inhale, push the ball down. Inhale, pull up the front part, perineum. Inhale, pull up the anus. Inhale, pull up the back. Inhale, tilt your sacrum. Hold it in your sacrum. Inhale, T11. Push the steel on straight. Now, inhale, expanding the back. Like a bell, we call it Chi Bell. The whole bell, like Chi, expanding. Very important. Now exhale a little bit, inhale. Inhale up to your C7, sink your chest more. If you cannot, exhale a little bit, inhale. Feel your body expand like big, 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 big balloon. Relax your chest, everybody. Now, inhale, best of scout. Exhale a little bit, inhale. Inhale up to the crowd, look up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, slowly inhale, exhale, draw the energy right into your bone, draw the energy right into your bone, draw the energy right into your bone, draw the energy right into the bone. Rest. Just stand quietly. At home, you stand five, ten minutes. That is the most beautiful time when you stand five to ten minutes, twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Beautiful. Just rest and just let your body lie spun, absorb the energy in, right into your bone. And later on, you forget all your muscle. All you have is bone. Believe me, ready. Now you just stand there and you think, where is my muscle? Everything you have is bone. And the bone is absorb the energy like sponge. Exhale. You know? Exhale. From the head, mid eyebrow, the soul. Now you can stand as long as you want, but now just rest. Put your leg together. Put your hand in your navel. Lady cover the navel with the right hand, <coughs> man with the left hand, and borrow the energy. No, no, reverse. So either way you can do it. Just spiral the energy, keep the energy in the navel. Rest. Okay. So now, when you get the energy, get everything right, structure right, energy right, you feel right, you plan down to the ground, and the people push you left, hold it, not knock her out, let she feel the energy transfer back and forth. And the right, also the same. One hand on the shoulder, one hand on the hip, and push steadily. 
Hold for one minute. And rest. The front is very difficult because you know where to get energy. You need practice to get transfer the front. The front have to zigzag down this way. Okay? So you put on the the el the ankle here. The uh, the wrist here. The wrist. One hand on here and one hand on here and push steadily. Usually, usually in this position, the people very hard, but you need to practice until you know how to transfer the force. Your spine will be adjust and feel the force transfer. Hold for a minute. Beautiful energy build up. Okay, get a partner and practice. Chest in a little bit. Your scap right is not round enough. That's it. The shoulder drop down. That's it. That is the best position. You see that? You feel the energy sink down. You see? Feel your second spot it down. Feel your head go up this way. And your chin tilt a little bit this way. That's it. And your hand go this way. You see? You feel an energy started to flow in the circle. Now, feel your lower center, your center going low. Now you can push it. I'll tell you the embracing the tree. Embracing the tree story. This is a true story. One time, one martial art master is so powerful, nobody wants to fight with him. He's so powerful, nobody wants to fight. So finally, he said, I don't want to teach, I don't want to fight anybody. So he closed the door, I don't want to fight. So, but a lot of people come to see him and say, Master, you must teach me, Master, you must teach me, and I will come. So much. And he come out, he said, Nobody can learn, I don't want to teach. So people come and go, come and go. And later on, the master noticed one young man, always staying there. So he come out and say, hey, what happened? I tell him, I don't want to teach because all of you cannot teach, learn it. He said, I will stay here until you teach me. He said, I don't think you can learn it. So he closed the door, go back. Again, people come out again, knock on the door, he come out, see that man again. The people go and gone, he's still there. So after a few years, still see that man there. <laughs> you know? So he come out and said, you really want to learn? He said, yes. If I tell you to do something, will you do it? Say yes. You see that tree over there? That tree is so small like this. That time. Go and put that tree for me, and I will teach you. So this man, oh, that better than nothing. Is that? <laughs> so he said, okay, I will pull that tree. So he go there, get a tree, try to grab the tree. You don't know what to do. He said, just grab the tree and pull. He grab the tree this way and pull and all these things. He pull it one year, two years, and finally he found out that it's not work that way. And he gradually find out a way to hack a tree. So he learned a way to hack a tree. But three, four, five years, the tree getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> no? Five, six, seven, eight years again, tree getting bigger and bigger and bigger every day. So finally he says, my God, nearly 10 years, and I still cannot pull that tree. And the very tell me is that if I don't pull that tree, the master don't take, teach me. I have to pull that tree. So he, every day, every day, every day, the whole day and night, try to pull that tree. And the tree getting bigger. And one day, his body changed after 10 years. So much power and energy. And the body changed and the energy is full with light balloon because every day pull that tree. <laughs> so one day, he's so determined to be this big now. So I have to pull that tree. Otherwise, I'm going to stay here forever. He's going there to determine, he grabbed the tree. For example, he cheese a tree. So she grab, go in there, and he get everything right. What you learn, what what you learn here? But he taking ten years to, to get it, everything right, and he grab the tree with the chest and go this way, and inhale, and he pull the tree, and actually pull up the tree, you know, and he throw the tree. I said, my God, I pull the tree. So he walk the dog on the door. The master said, master, 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 I pull that tree already. So master look at us, oh, good, go home. <laughs> <laughs> he said, master, you tell me to pull that tree? After 10 years, you tell me to go home. <laughs> so what do you want? If you can pull that tree, who's going to fight you? <laughs> and she said, oh, right. <laughs> who's going to fight me? If I can pull that tree that big, who's going to fight me? So he said, oh, thank you, Master. He left. And he go into the, 
go into the martial art circle in the bullying, we call bullying. Nobody gonna find him. Come will come in because if you develop develop an iron chip, energy so much. People come in banging bum, they bow out. You grab the person, thirty feet away. You know? If he hug a person, it's worse than a, a bear hug. Everything's gone. And nobody gonna find him. And that's how it's a real story that he do it every day, just that one night, and nobody find The same thing as holding all the gold on earth. Okay? In the olden time, the soldier have to hold the urn. In one, in the olden time, that the, uh, uh, the emperor believed that, um, that uh, the fire and the incense have to burn all the time. If they stop, and the people have to hold it. A live person or anything have to hold it to get the incense flow. Otherwise, the emperor is going to go on. You see? So they make a soldier in ship to hold an urn. And whoever drop the urn, they cut the head off. So each one have a ship, three to four hours. So you hold the urn and let it burn that way. And you cannot hold that one for 10 or 20 minutes. You know? They keep on changing. So they find a way to push the urn up and change this way. When it's 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes, they're too tight, they push the urn up and they change the position. And they keep on changing position, they can go on for hours. And that's how the the holding of the golden urn come from. The holding golden urn be uh, divided into yang position and jin position. The whole secret is this. You have to go, this is yang position. Okay? You, if you do this way, they are not, if you, if, you, if you do this, you have to hold here, hold here, and tilt up. You activate the tendon of the pinky finger. The tendon of pinky finger connecting all the way to the pinky toes. So the line from here, the line from here all the way down to the pinky toes, it around in the pinky finger around the ear, and the line of energy go to that pinky toes. And that is the one. When you turn this way, and this is the important part, the people are going to turn this way, don't get forced. But when you turn this way, you get forced. You hold the elbow, hold the wrist, and flex the tendons. Hold here. Because let on in while we're pushing. Okay? You in while we're pushing here. So you frag the tendon out to me. Or in while with this pushing. You frag the tendon and push this tendon. So the whole tendon line goes down to the feet. But if she goes this way, she has no force, I push her to fall. But if she goes this way, she has the force. I push from here, from here. See that? See the difference? Okay? Now, the breathing is very simple. It's packing. So I show you the breathing, it's what we learned already. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, the young position. The hand is the shoulder height. Exhale, 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 inhale, left and right kidney. Inhale, push down. Inhale, pull up. Inhale, pull up front, middle, back, second, two, all, all, one breath out. Inhale, T11. Inhale, C7. Inhale, best of scout. Up to the crowd. Exhale. Let the energy come down. So we don't go to the feet, but when you pull up the perineum, you draw the energy in the feet up. Okay? So we are so we are doing this way all the way to the ground and all the way up. So you involve this way. And you draw the picture on the side way for you. And now the feet is this way. So you pack the kidney, you inhale, push the energy down, inhale, put the energy up to the second, C11, C7, base of scalp, crown, that's all. And when you exhale, you draw the energy down in the microcosm again. You pull up the same and the testicle breathing up to the head and let the energy down. Okay? Let's stand up and do it. 
spread your pinky finger out and press and put the finger power, okay. put your power on the fin pinky finger. Are you ready? In out, exhale, in out, exhale, 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 exhale. The hand is not this way, it's this way. Okay? In out, pull up left and right kidney. In out, push the ball down. In out, pull up the perineum. In out, pull up the front, middle, back, second, tilt. Inhale, T11. Inhale, C7. Inhale, base of scalp. Exhale, inhale up to the crown. Hold it. Exhale. Turn your hand out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Feel the energy come down to the front. Come down to the front. You can stand as long as you, you want. In this position, you draw so much energy to the palm. Yeah. And it just comes down right to you. Just the open to a cosmic energy, and it just pour right into your palm. When you spread out the thumb, the thumb light from the thumb all the way uh, to here, to the sternum, all the way down to the navel, and spread on the perineum down to the big toes. And that is the thumb line. Okay? And you can stand as long as you want, five, ten minutes. Rest, put the hand in the nail. Collect the energy. The exercise is extremely powerful for tendons, exercise. So you have to flick this way and put the hand right on the wrist. Okay? So when you push on the wrist, she flick the power out. So she exercise the tendons. And the whole tendon line is going to flow from here all the way down to the pinky toes. And you put the hand on here and push steadily. And exhale. The same thing. So you put left and right. And the same thing, you see here, when you turn in this way, okay, you push right this angle. Okay? If you do this way, you have no force. But if you do this way, you have force. When I push this way, it should push from here. A tendon line, push again me, and I push again on here. The same thing in this way. So you're pushing, pushing right on here like this, right on the wrist, and put it on the hip. Turn. You see here? Right on here. You cannot push on here, it's no force. You have to turn and turn this way. You get the force there. And you push there, the force transfers to the ground. 